Hey guys, John here. So the biggest question I always get when I do these courses is where can I get access to the source code? So I obviously can't upload that here on YouTube. So I've made that available for you over on BitTorrent. And along with the source code, you'll also be able to actually download the videos uh, to your computer so you can have them forever. So if for some reason something crazy happened and I decided to delete them or YouTube kicked me off of their site or whatever, it wouldn't really matter for you because you would have all the source code, you'd have all the videos, all everything essentially that I've created for the course you would have on your own computer. So I've created a link in the description where you can find that stuff over on BitTorrent. Please consider going over there, supporting me that way. I'd appreciate that. Also, please consider uh, making a donation here on YouTube using the fan funding. This is how or one of the ways that I'm able to keep all of the videos that I'm doing and releasing here on YouTube for free by those who are able to pitching in and allowing me to do that. So please consider that. And if you need access to any of the resources that I use through everything that I do online, coding, releasing videos, etc., you can head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash resources and I have a whole slew of all sorts of different resources from hosting to different uh, tutorials and just everything over there that I use. So uh, again, johnmorrisonline.com slash resources. All right, on to the lesson. Hi, John Morris here. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to insert data into a database using PHP. Again, we're going to talk about both my SQLI and PDO, although you're going to notice from the last lesson to this one that in terms of the PHP, it actually stays the same. What we're changing here is we're changing our MySQL query, All right? So I'm just going to cover how to do that. Um, one thing with this is uh, probably the best way to do this or really the best way to do this is using prepared statements. Um, but we're going to get into using prepared statements later. I want I want you to uh, understand how to do this just with the MySQL, just a straight query first, and then that's going to help the prepared statements. Uh, when we talk about prepared statements later, that's going to help make that a little bit more understandable. Uh, so when we do that, though, the PHP will actually change. But uh, for now, you're going to notice that the PHP part is really the same. It's just this the SQL query that's changing. All right, so. As always, we have our database details here. Uh, we're doing something a little new here in that we're setting the time as a variable. So the time function in PHP, if you're not familiar, is going to create a Unix timestamp of the current time, of the time that this file, uh, that this processes. Okay, so we're gonna use this for our post date. So whenever someone, um, uh, creates a new post or whenever they submit uh, to this, they're going to, uh, it's going to calculate the time at that exact moment. And we're gonna use that to populate the post date. Okay, so that's what that's for. So then our query, which is really the bulk of this, um, the command that we're gonna use to insert uh, a new record into the database is the insert into command. Okay, so we're gonna do insert into, and then the name of our database table so in this case we're going to insert it into the objects table and then we have parentheses here that are going to in here we're going to put our column names so uh, the data or the columns that we want to insert data into now you're going to notice here that we do not have the id field set in here and that's because our id field is set to auto increment. So it's actually going to, whenever we add a new record, it's automatically going to populate itself with whatever the, the number, next number in uh, the table is for the next record, okay? So we don't need to set that here because it's gonna do it automatically. So we're gonna set the post title, the post content, the post name, and the post date, All right? And we close our parentheses there. And then for the values, we use the values command, and those are in parentheses. And here, now we're going to set our actual values that we want inserted into the database. 
So for our, and these correspond to what we've set as our column. So if we put post title as the first one, the first value is going to be put into the post title column. So you have to match these up. So whatever you put as the first column, you also need to put um, as the first value, okay? So we're gonna have our post title as test three, our post content as test three content, our post name, which is essentially our slug, as test underscore three. And you'll notice I'm using uh, single quotes around these. For strings, uh, again, pretty much anywhere in MySQL when you're using strings, uh, as your values, then you need to put those in single quotes. Integers, you don't. Okay, so again, you'll notice I'm putting all these in single quotes. The last one is what we've set as our time variable, but you'll notice that we're using this command, this MySQL command called from Unix time. What that is actually going to do is it's going to convert, because again, time, the PHP function time creates a, a, time, a Unix timestamp. Well, what we're store the field that we're going to store that time into is a MySQL date time field. So we actually have to convert our Unix timestamp to a MySQL date time field. Now you can do that in PHP, or you can just use uh -huh, and you can use the date function to do that. But or you can just use from Unix time, and MySQL will actually just take that timestamp and convert it to a date time. Uh -huh date time value for you. Uh, I prefer to do it that way because it's it's easier and that way also you know you ensure that since MySQL is doing it that it's going to ultimately be done correctly. When you do it with PHP you could have a typo or whatever the case may be. So with this from Unix time it, it just ensures that you get the right format uh, that you need from that timestamp. Okay? So from Unix time, you'll notice that there's parentheses there, and we put in our uh, time variable from up here. Okay, so that's going to, again, insert our post title, post content, post name, and our timestamp. All right, so we've got that set. I am putting this up here because we're actually going to use that same query for both MySQLite and PDO. We don't actually need to change the query. Um, for whichever one we happen to be using we can use the exact same one okay so now after that again instantiate a new object of our my or, uh, instance of our my sqli object passed in uh, our host our user our password and our name doing our check to see if we're connected and once we've done that then we're actually going to run again this is the same this is why I say the PHP doesn't change. We're using the query command off of our, uh, our query method in our MySQLi class in order to run this query, and we're just passing in our query. So in terms of the method, it's the exact same method that we use to select results, and in fact, it's gonna be the exact same method that we use to update results and to delete results. Uh, in order to run those queries, but we're just changing the query. So we pass in our query here, and then we are print ring the results, All right? So we'll go ahead and save that. We'll come over here to our page, we'll refresh this, and you'll see we get a one. That's because if the query runs successfully, it's going to return true. Uh, the query method will return true, which gets print outputted as a one. Okay, so we come over here, you can see that we have our test and test two. If we just reload this, now we have test, test two, and test three, which we added. Okay, and you see our ID has been auto incremented. You see this has been converted to our date time here in MySQL. All right, so uh, that's how you insert data into a database uh, using MySQLi. Now, couple caveats here. Again, when we go into prepared statements, um, this PHP is going to change and I'll show you that. The other thing is, is in this particular case, I'm just specifying the data here. Now, in most cases, you're probably going to be getting data when you insert data, you're going to be getting it from so some sort of form. So it's going to be some sort of form of user input. Okay, so um, 
generally the way that you're going to do that is you're going to have an HTML form that submits to your PHP script. So the action val the action value in your form is going to be set to your PHP script. That PHP script is going to get the post global. So it's going to get this post array like this. And you're going to use that to insert da the data into the database. You're going to do, you might do something like this. Right, so that might be what your statement actually looks like here. Okay, now you're probably not gonna wanna put that directly. Well, you aren't gonna wanna put that directly in there like that. However, that gives you an idea of what it would look like. When you do that, you need to make sure that you escape your data, okay? So you would use something like um, the MySQL real escape string. So the way you would do that with MySQLi is you might do something like this. So you might do title equals and, and actually we need to do this after we've connected you need to use it after you've connected to your uh, to MySQ, mysql so we'll go ahead and move this down here so we'll do you notice we're using our variable we're we're using what we've instantiated up here okay because this is actually going to be a method with of the mysql uh, class so it's going to be real escape string and now we could do put in something like this post title okay that's going to essentially sanitize our data so that we can ensure that we're uh, protect ourselves against SQL injection attacks now in this case you would need to move this down below that so that, that you could then put that inside this query like this so like that okay so that's how you would process it when it comes from form data which is probably the major way that you're going to do that now again I'm I want to be very focused with this particular course and this particular lesson and, and talking primarily about PHP and MySQL interaction so I don't want to get into uh, I, I you know, I don't want to get into doing forms and maybe risk being confusing. But, uh, you know, if you if uh, I know I have plenty of uh, free videos out there I've done on using forms. And usually the questions that I get most aren't regarding how to build the forms, how to build an HTML forms. They're how to process it on the back end in, in PHP and MySQL. So that's what I really want to focus on. So this is how you would do that. You're going to actually run it through. Uh, real escape string to prevent the in injection attacks and then you can put it into your query here now again when we get into prepared statements you're not going to need to do this and I'm going to again show you all of that but again just wanted to give you uh, an example here of how you might do that okay so that is how you would work with uh, forms all right so now let's talk about this in terms of PDO. So we'll go ahead and we'll comment that out. Uncomment this. And this is our PDO version of the exact same thing. So you can see we're using the exact same time and the exact same query up here. Now we're just coming down here and we're putting it into our PDO query. So again, we're connecting to PDO. I haven't changed this since we started. So this is the exact same thing we've covered from the very beginning in terms of how to connect to PDO. Again, I'm setting the attribute here so we can uh, trigger errors as they happen. And then here, this is exactly like what we used when we selected results, except now we're passing in a different query. We're passing in this query up here. And of course, we're gonna print the result here and we're gonna catch any errors and output them here. Okay, so this is, again, pretty much straight, pretty straightforward. This is exactly what we did when we selected results. All we did is change this query up here, and we've you know already covered how I change this up here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and head over to our page again here, and we'll refresh it. And you notice with PDO, it gives you a little, something a little bit different here. It actually gives you uh, 
what the query was. But if we go over here to our database and we reload this table, you notice that we now have another record with that exact same information because we didn't change the information. But you can see that here, the uh, date that, that we submitted it changed, okay? So that is uh, how to insert it using PDO. Again, pretty straightforward because all we really change is this query up here. All right, so that is how to insert data into a da table using uh, PHP, MySQL, both my SQLi and PDO. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that, and I'll talk to you later.